in case you missed it, some controversy this weekend at Camp Randall, Wisconsin Northwestern. It appears that Alex Erickson has a punt return touchdown. However, after further review, Erickson's waving off of his teammates against NCAA rules. Anytime you do that, even if it is clearly not a fair catch signal, the play is dead. Then, originally ruled a touchdown by Troy Fumagalli, clearly down at the one-yard line. So the Badgers haven't won it like they thought. But you get another chance. And on this one, Jazz PV appears to catch the game-winning touchdown. But after a view, there was not complete control overturned. Badgers don't get into the end zone. And Northwestern escapes with a win being called by many, especially Badger fans, quite controversial. For more clarification on these calls, we welcome in Bill Carollo, coordinator of Big Ten officials. Bill, I think we all saw on replay the one touchdown that was reversed, clearly down at the one-yard line. So let's start with the discussion of the fair catch call and the move that Alex Erickson made and why ultimately that call and that return was eliminated from being part of the game. Sure. You know, on the kick plays, we uh, allow the receiving team uh, to make a signal. A valid signal is one hand over the head, back and forth, at least twice, and that tells everybody that he cannot be hit, and, he, and we, he's going to catch the ball, but he cannot advance it. The, an invalid signal is any signal that is a waving signal by Team B, which is the receiving team. So if it's not a valid signal, one hand over the head, side to side, everything else, any waving signal tells everybody that I am not going to advance this kick. So whether it's a wave off to stay away from the ball, whether it's signaling to his teammates where the ball might be going, or be alerted to the ball, any of those types of signals by rule, an invalid signal is any waving signal by the receiving team, and that kills once, he's, once the ball is recovered, the ball is dead by rule. Let's move on to the end of the game and the Jazz PV catch that is originally ruled a touchdown, then upon review ruled an incomplete pass. Why at the end of the day, Bill, did that ruling end up that way? Well, obviously everyone saw that the officials on the field, the field judges and line judge, were in good position to take a look at this reception. And it came into the receiver. But by rule now, an incomplete pass is if a player goes to the ground in the act of actually trying to catch the pass. And it's irregardless whether he was contacted by his opponent or he went to the ground by himself. The rule states, and it's very clear, he must maintain complete and continuous control of that ball throughout the entire process of contacting the ground. And this could be in the end zone, it could be out of bounds, it could be at the 50-yard line. When he hits the ground, he has to maintain possession of the ball. So in this case, when the receiver got control of that ball and took multiple steps, and he was deemed as, as a receiver going to the ground. He was not a runner. A receiver going to the ground must hang on to that ball. So when he hit in a couple steps, and then his knee hit the end zone, and he rolled out of bounds, and then the ball moved. By rule, that movement, while he was out of bounds, declared that ball to be incomplete. Bill, you mentioned the term complete control, one other that is similar, a football move common to the game. These are interpreted differently by different people. So what can actually be done to take the subjective nature of those calls out of the mix, whether it's adding language or doing something to make it a more concrete, less subjective decision? Yeah, I think it's, you know, we, we pay our officials to make judgment calls, and sometimes they're, uh, everyone agrees with them, and sometimes they don't. It's, it's all in the eyes of the beholder. But this particular rule, um, you know, I think is, in, you know, is, is questioned many times because we have to understand going to the ground and what's the definition of going to the ground and what's the definition of making a, something common to the game, a football move. And when we talk about making, doing something common to the game, taking them from the status of a receiver going to the ground and changing him to the status of a runner. And once he, we make that change, we, we're declaring that that person, that player with the ball, can do something common to the game. He can pass the ball, he can hand it off, he can pass, uh, kick it, whatever it might be, something that's common. But if it's in the process going to the ground and the only thing he can do is catch the ball, he's still in that category. So I think the rules committee as well as the competition committee, and we have the college football officiating committee and, and the commissioners. There's a process in the off season to look at all the rules. We spend a lot of time with our coaches, making sure they understand the rules. They may not like the rules, especially the new rules that come out every year, but they look at those rules. We work with them. We teach the players. We teach the coaches, and we work with the media, making sure they understand our rules. You know, that waving signal, you know, for instance, at the Wisconsin game, that is clearly illegal in a college game, and we, 
communicate that with the coaches throughout the season. Uh, about three weeks ago, we had a message go out to all the coaches that any waving signal is illegal, cannot advance it. So there's a process. I think the NCAA does a nice job uh, with the commissioners and the different uh, c committees to make those proper rule changes. But we certainly we don't look at changes mid-season. But there's time when the season ends. We look at it, and we get a lot of input, and we have the best people looking at it as far as the committees, and, and I think we're in a pretty good place. Bill Carollo, coordinator of Big Ten officials. Bill, appreciate the time and the clarification. Great. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate the time.